Bionic Dance is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Were there any warnings before that sh Super Bowl halftime show? Would that, would that halftime show, would that have been rated PG? No, but neither would a lot of television. I'd say I don't see this guy protesting prime time, but he probably has. Dude's got a stick so far up his butt that he gets splinters when he swallows. Let's do this. <laughs> Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. Before we start today's video, I find I must apologize for part of yesterday's video. I said the guy to whom I was responding was Rusty Walker, and it wasn't. Rusty was someone who had also made a response. I got mixed up on what page I was on and used the wrong name. Totally my bad. So, sorry. <sighs> anyway, yes, I watched the Super Bowl, but I'm not sports people at all. Not really. Thing is, when I was an Xbox tester at Microsoft, they made me play NFL Fever 2002 for like a week. And rather than hating it, I started to appreciate the game on at least a rudimentary level. So once a year, I watch a game. The Super Bowl. And since that's the only time I'm paying attention, I pick who's gonna win based on whose helmets I think are prettiest. It's a thing. And, as a result, I watched this year's sexy-as-hell halftime show. Not really the biggest fan of J.Lo or Shakira. Don't hate them. Don't love them. It's just not my kind of music. I could do a whole video series on the music I like and don't like and why, and about the fact that nobody quite seems to understand my taste. But I found myself enjoying the show. Apparently, Dave Daubenmeyer didn't. Were there any warnings that you're... 12-year-old young son whose hormones are just getting ready, just starting to operate. Was there any warning that he, that what he's going to see might cause him to get sexually excited? No, but he's a 13-year-old boy. A strong breeze or a cornflakes commercial probably gets him sexually excited. I know religionoids have some serious issues with sexuality, but really, is telling someone to suppress their sexuality, or worse, making them ashamed of it, really a solution? Sweeping things under the rug might make things easier for you, but it can really screw up a confused youngster. So I think we ought to go sit down in the courtroom and present this as evidence. And how the, the whoever is keeping me from getting into the kingdom of heaven. A, we don't live in a theocracy, so your Bible isn't evidence of anything. And two, the only person who can keep you out of your alleged kingdom of heaven is you. You deal with your own demons instead of expecting everybody else to cater to your hang-ups. Think of a sexy halftime show as a trial, a test of your faith. That should make things easier for everybody. Could I go into a courtroom and say, viewing what you put on that screen put me in danger of hellfire? Try it. I dare you. However, even if they didn't decline to hear your whining, there are some big hunk and hurdles here. One, you'd have to prove that there is a hell in the first place. Two, you'd have to prove that this behavior of others within your sight has anything to do with it. Three, you'd have to show what laws were violated. Legal laws, not your religious rules. And four, you'd have to prove that there were any tangible, measurable damages at all. Plus probably other hurdles I don't even know about because I'm not a lawyer. In the end, you'll lose and just waste everybody's time. Stop expecting the world to pad its edges just because you can't handle it. Could the court say, Roger, could the court say That's, that doesn't apply here? That doesn't apply here. That's exactly what the court would have to say. Again, we don't live in a theocracy, much as that fact may cause you to gnash your teeth in rage. The United States has a secular government, at least on paper, and your biblical laws don't even mean squat. Because pornography, the right to porn, overrides your right to watch it. Yeah, but you didn't tell me I was going to watch it. You just brought it into my living room. You didn't tell me. This is not porn. Overt sexuality, yes, but 
not porn. And you'd better get used to it, buddy. Pole dancing has no joke been recognized as a sport and is used as exercise. It's being normalized, the stigma removed, and that's that. I know what it's like when the world starts changing in ways you don't care for. Pop culture took a hard shift in the opposite direction when I was a kid, with the neon brightness and fun of the 80s changing to the drabness and dark of the 90s, with angst and wallowing in pathos. I hated it. But you can't fight it. You can either deal with it or become bitter. You didn't tell me there were going to be crop shots! You said, well, you should know better. You should know better because it's J-Lo and whoever that was. You should know she's an expert in crotch shots. You already know that. No, I, I protect my eyes. I didn't know that about her. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching it. You know what's worse than ignorance? Intentional, self-inflicted ignorance. And what would have happened if someone had said that there'd be crotch shots before the Super Bowl? Hmm? Would Davey Poo here have just said, okay then, I won't watch? No, he'd have raised a stink beforehand instead of now, or as well as now. The only way to satisfy this guy is to give him 100% of his way to mold the world into his sanitized vision of how things ought to be. It's not enough for him to live his own life his own way. We all have to live his way too. Was he never taught to get along with other people? Was he never taught to share and play nicely with the other kids? There are a lot of things in this world I don't like and would love to see gone. But I also know that it's not up to me, and I just have to get over it. But not Davy Poo here. It's not enough for him to have the freedom to be himself. Everyone else has to be him too. Is it not discriminatory for me to say I love watching the NFL I want to watch the Super Bowl, but I don't want to watch that. If they bring that into my house, is that not discriminatory? Discriminatory. Really? How is this discrimination? Nobody has told Davy Poo he's not allowed to do something. Nobody is making him a second-class citizen. Nobody has taken away his privilege. He's nobody's victim. And the only person who brought anything into his house is him. Funny thing. You see this? It turns off your TV. And this changes the channel. You've got options, Davy Poo. Nobody forced you to watch the halftime show. That's discriminatory against the values I have in my house. You can't just do that. Other people living according to their own values is not discrimination against yours. It's called live and let live, buddy. You don't have a right to not be offended. Having to know that other people are behaving in ways that you wouldn't might ruin your day. But it's not discrimination against you. It actually has nothing to do with you in any way. The only person actually causing a problem here is the dude in the baseball hat who can't stop complaining about everything. They, wa they won't even let you talk about homos on Facebook! That's because what you do is discrimination, you butt munch. You've actively advocated bullying of homosexuals. That's outright bigotry. All I want is for you to quit being a jerk to other people, but you want actual harm done upon those you don't like. The difference should be clear, but I'm not sure that Davy Poo here is equipped to understand it. I want to sue him. I want to sue him for about $867 trillion. That seems an oddly specific number. I wonder how he reached it. And again, you'll have to prove damages. I know it broke your brain, but that was already damaged. What else you got? Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dan saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Even YouTubers need Ferraris. Please donate on Patreon. Hey, this is a nice computer you got over here. Be a shame you didn't subscribe to Bionic Dance. I'd hate for something bad to happen to it. <laughs>